Okay, welcome to a Creo tutorial of how to model a car. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to build this car. A uh, yeah, build a quality car surface in Creo parametric. So you can see the quality here. It's complicated. Um, there's a few interesting parts in there for us to go through. Okay, so we'll just get a, um, get started and let's switch over to other views. So I've, I have all the views set up already. Uh, there is a tutorial on how to set up the views. You um, just go have a look at that video. Okay, all right, we're gonna start with the making the roof and the wheel arches. So when you build a car, it's um, it's just good idea to start with the the shapes that um, that will be uh, that's doesn't change too much the the essential fixed shapes. So with the side panel in the front, they they can be adjusted to match the the car in your photo reference. Okay, so we just get start right now. So basically this style tool here it lets you create surfaces, complicated surfaces. There's freestyle. Freestyle is more for basic form like a bottle, but to to draw a car we've got to use this tool here to build accurate organic and com complicated forms. So we're gonna start with the roof. There's a regenerate button. This will generally, when you make a complicated model, you need to regenerate if there is you delete the curve or any problem. Set plane, set plane, just set the plane that we're going to draw on. So we're going to draw a roof. We're going to click that button. So you draw your curves, you make your surfaces, and you can analyze your surface. So I'll start, I'll just go through quick. So you're going to go through it later on, anyways. So this button here lets you change the views. This button lets you change the display style. So I'll switch to right view and start drawing the, the roof. So in Creo, you draw the curves and then you edit afterwards. Actually, you need to draw the top curves. So accept that. Now you go to edit and we can edit the curves. I'll change the background to dark so it's easier to see there you go that's a lot better this button here lets you switch the control points in a different way and we'll put it there so to delete the point right click delete but if you have a degree of free curve you can't delete um, make it less than four points and it needs to be more than four points so when you draw your curves make sure it's basic and simple use the minimal number of points as you can um, when you build a car surface it's it's like using plywood the surface can't be bent too much you don't want to put a lot of points or a lot of bends on on it or it will be uh, won't look nice. Yeah, Im imagine you're trying to build a car with plywood. Okay, we just need to activate this plane so we can draw the, a line near the edge of the car. So change the right view again, and we draw the other lines. So put about four. Four points, and we'll delete some points to keep it simple. So let's bring it up there and accept that. Okay, we gotta go to the full views. If you press this button, it will bring out the other views. You can drag the view out of line so you can make the other sides more bigger. And we need to adjust this line on the top view. Click it. If you hold Control and ALT and drag, it 
um, constraint to horizontal or vertical and make sure you spend some time putting your points where you put these points will determine the quality of your model so um, I've been researching many class A tutorial notebooks and your lines and points need to, to be nice and clean and your result your final car will look really nice alright so we need to make finish making the patch here um, I like to draw make the surface with four curves defined and um, so I'm going to draw two more lines finishing the, the patch so if you hold shift and click there is a circle it means it snaps to the line so holding shift that's a very important technique you will snap your line your points to a line and you, you press the middle button you can finish the line and draw your next line so we draw the second line to finish the surface and accept okay so we just need to adjust this line here on the front view so it's it's how we want it so turn on the control points okay so one important note here you can adjust the tangencies of lines here so because this surface is going to be mirrored across if your curve is like that it will create a nice uh, a an ugly point on your car so this line here needs to be flat out with, with this point and it will just blend across seamlessly so uh, what we're going to do we're going to go to change it to horizontal or vertical actually that okay that didn't work out so what we do is we have to activate the plane instead of the, of the right view we activate the front view and we do that again so edit curves and now if you go to horizontal it will snap on horizontal so this line now it's blended across the mirror line and we do the same for the other line so click click the other line to edit that line turn on the control point put this onto horizontal and make a evenly distributed point so make sure your points evenly distributed and don't put too much extreme extreme curvature on it it won't look well so you have your four lines and you click on surface and select your line in a in a um, circular uh, flow so see one two three and four need to flow one way or the other to make the surface and accept so that's that's the top surface done now we're going to move on to make the the little fenders bit here let's go activate that plane so we can draw it in that area and we'll bring it to right view okay to draw the wheel arches there's an arc tool here click on that you got your middle point and your handle so you can adjust the handle lines bring that to the right bit yeah we're gonna keep the shape basic in this tutorial it takes a lot of time to just make it perfect so uh, I don't know I don't, I don't I know you don't want to just watch me do do all the small adjustments so I'll keep it quick I don't want to bore people so we're here to learn we want to do it fast and quick okay so the two arcs there now we're going to offset these curves you click the arrow there's more options so we offset these curves 
you can drag this point to adjust the, the offset amount and we'll select this curve and offset that that's fine except so we can start making the surface here it's a flat surface on the fender so um, careful when there's a, these little arrows here it tells you the tangencies we gotta change that to position so it doesn't force the form to ta to have a normal tangency now it's flat and we're gonna do the same for the back change that to position so what normal means is it's just normal it's just normal with the curves okay let me check the time for this okay so it's 10 minutes already uh, I think it's 11 minutes already um, that's the end of the first part here I'm gonna move on to the second part so follow the links and stay tuned subscribe and like my video to see more so